Hello everybody, uh, today I wanted to go over a statics problems and particularly we're going to look at a beam that is roller supported at A and pin supported at B. So this problem says that the beam is subject to a counterclock uh, couple moment at A, which is this MO right here, and a, dist and a distributed load on spam AB, which is our triangular load Q0, and at a point load at C, which is this force P right here. So the the way that I like about going for any like physics or uh, engineering problem, I like starting with what's given in the problem. So our first section is going to be given and we have our positive moment because counterclockwise by convention is positive uh, via the right hand rule. So we have MO equals 300 pound foot. We have our uh, distributed load which is Q0 equals uh, 12 pound per foot and we also have our force P which is 50 pounds and lastly we're also given the uh, distance 14 feet all right so then I'd like to look at what we're asked to find the problem so in our second category we're gonna do find and we have two parts of the problem and the first part is to calculate the reaction forces at A and B. So find A and uh, if you look closely to it, A is roller supported. What that means is that the beam is free to slide left and right. Therefore, uh, A cannot support a force in the uh, X direction. However, it can support a force in the Y direction. So you already know that we're only looking for AY because AX is going to be zero. Whereas B is a pin supported, which means that it's going to uh, limit the movement in the X and Y direction. So therefore it's supporting forces in uh, both directions. So we have BX and BY that we need to find. And then it's also asking to calculate the internal forces at mid spam AB. So right about here, let's call that uh, points. Uh, so we have A, B, C, so let's call it point D, like that. Okay, so D internal. All right, so now we can go ahead and analyze the problem. Okay, so for a statics problem, what statics mean is that um, we don't have acceleration. So the sum of the forces and the sum of the moment is going to have to uh, add up to zero. So generally we have three equations that we use in uh, statics and that is the sum of the uh, moments around a point and then we have uh, sum of the forces in the y and sum of the forces in the x. So I'd like to start by summing the moments at point A. And uh, it's important to note that we don't have to sum moments at point A. Uh, you can sum it at any point. That's given so we can sum it at B as well or depending on the problem there might be other points. I generally like starting on the left but sometimes you, you'll find some points that are easier than the others. So let's go ahead and do some of the moments at uh, A. Some of the moments at A that is going to be um, zero. So let's go ahead and draw our BY force right here and our AY force. I am going to assume that they're going upwards and if we if this assumption is wrong our math is going to tell us that by giving us a negative uh, sign. And we also said that there is going to be a um, BX. All right. And Every time I see a distributed load, uh, load in uh, statics problems, I like ca calculating the resultant force. So the resultant force is nothing but the area underneath the, um, uh, the load, the distributed load. So that area is going to be our distance from A to B and our height, which is Q0. So, uh, and then we're going to divide that by 2 because it's a triangular load. So resultant is going to be 1 half times L times uh, Q0. So if we go ahead and do that, we have R equals 1 half times uh, L is 14 feet and uh, Q0 was 12 uh, pound per foot. 
So that is going to be our resultant and is going to be located somewhere right around here. Okay. So the resultant turns out to be, by just multiplying this out, is going to be 84 pounds. And uh, next we have to calculate the distance at which this uh, resultant force is being applied at. And since this is a triangular load, the distance is going to be two thirds, um, uh, two thirds to from beginning from the um, from the pointy side of the triangle to the um, to the right in our case. So that is going to be two thirds of L, since L is this distance from A to B. So now that we know that distance and we know all the forces, we can go ahead and um, sum moments. So we know that uh, at point A, AY is not going contrib to contribute any moment because the distance, the, the perpendicular distance from, uh, from uh, AY to point A is zero. So AY is not going to have to, it's not going to um, give us any moment. But we're, we are given MO, which is 300 pound foot. So to MO and that's positive. So another force that is going to contribute a positive moment is going to be PY since it's going upwards and uh, by uh, right hand convention it's going to be positive. Uh, it's uh, sticking up. So we're going to have plus BY times our distance L because it's L away from uh, point A. And it looks like those are the only two forces uh, that are going to give us a positive moment. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, find the negative moments. So we have our resultant force because since uh, the uh, force is pointing downwards, our moment is going to be clockwise, which will uh, give us a negative moment. So we have minus uh, R times 2 thirds times L. And we also have our P. So we're given the um, the slope of P. So the slope of P is 3, 4. Whenever we have a 3, 4 right triangle, we know that hypotenuse is going to be 5. This is one of the nice tri uh, tri uh, triangles. You can go ahead and calculate it, but it's always going to end up being 5. So uh, if we look closely, our uh, y direction, the ratio for that is 4, and then uh, by do by using the um, the trigonometry, we're gonna have four over hypotenuse times p. That's going to be our py. Okay, and then we're still gonna have to multiply that by the distance, which is l from a to b plus uh, l over two from b to c. So that distance is going to be three halves l. Okay. And um, looks like those are all the forces that are causing a moment around point A. Notice that B, uh, BX and uh, PX, they don't uh, cause any um, moment because their um, perpendicular distance to point A is uh, zero. They're parallel to point A. They go through it. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and substitute numbers in. So we have 300 pound foot for MO and then by is what we're trying to find and we know that l is 14 feet we have our resultant which is 84 times 2 thirds times 14 uh, minus so i'm just going to go ahead and multiply uh 4 times 3 that's 12 over 5 times 2 that's 10 times 14 which is our l and times p which is um, actually we're given p so p is just 50 pounds. Okay. And that will have to add up to zero. Now we can go ahead and bring all of our known uh, moment on the right side and then leave the unknown on the left. So let's leave by times 14 equals to so this is negative, it's going to uh, become a positive when we put it on the right side. So it would be 84 times 28 over 3. I just multiplied the 14 by 2. 
and then we're gonna add 12 times um, 14 times 50 so uh, that would be 60 times 14 uh, and then we have our 300 which is going to become negative when we move it on to the right hand and by doing this calculation um, then we can separate by and adding all those up together we are going to get a 1324 pound foot and uh, we're going to divide by the distance uh, that from A to BY, which is 14 feet. So our feet cancel, and uh, our BY is going to end up being 94.57 pound. Okay. So we got the answer for our um, uh, BY, the reaction at B in the Y direction. So let's go ahead and try to sum forces in the, uh, uh, let's say, y direction right now. And we know that that's going to have to add up to uh, zero. So we have Ay that's going upwards. We have force By that's going also uh, upwards. And we also have R, but that's going downwards. And we also have the P in the uh, y direction, which we already found out to be 4 over 5 times B. Okay, those are all of our forces in the um, uh, y direction. So um, we know everything but Ay, so we can solve for Ay. So Ay is going to be 90, uh, it's going to be equal to uh, By uh, negative plus r plus four fifths p and let me go ahead and raise this up a little bit so we have a y equals negative 94.57 plus 84 plus four fifths times 50 and we know that that's in pounds and our a y is going to end up being once we do all our calculations is going to be 29.4 pounds so simply by just doing the sum of the forces in the y direction we were able to come up with uh, a y and lastly let's sum forces in the x direction and that we already know that it has to equal to zero so um forces in the x direction let's see up here we have AX is not going to have any uh, forces in the X because it's in rollers. We already mentioned that. We have BX that's definitely going to have a contribution in the X direction. But we also have the force P in the X direction that is going to oppose that. So that is going to be minus, and our ratio is going to be 3 over 5, the, uh, the horizontal uh, over hypotenuse. 3 over 5 times P. And that has to equal to zero. So Bx equals three fifths P. So by substituting in, we have three over five times 50. Bx is going to be 30 pound. Alrighty. So, by simply just summing moments at around point A and um, summing forces in the y direction and x direction, we were able to come with all the reaction forces By, Bx, and Ay. And uh, since this video took already longer than I was uh, hoping uh, for it to take, uh, I am going to do part B on a separate video, so you're going to be able to see that on the next video. Thank you.